Good afternoon, everyone. While the IPCC and NOAA focuses on the El Nino in the East Pacific, what's not being talked about is the cool down in the water of the Great Lakes. We're going to take a look through all five lakes, take a look at some cross sections to actually see the depth at which it's cooling. Surface temperatures are warmed a little bit, but the real cooling is taking place at depth. The IPCC and NOAA continually focus on the warming trend at a natural El Nino for this year, but they continue to leave out the American Great Lakes, which are showing a cooling trend across all five lakes. What's most interesting, the surface temperatures are remaining relatively the same across these last couple of years, but when we delve in to depth, you notice a great change in temperature occurring below the surface. And I've lined these up, so 2013 is on the right, 2015 is on the left. You can pause the screen at any time, take a look at the color variation in the depths as well as temperature. We'll start here with Lake Michigan. Surface temperatures are cooling, but when we have a cross section, take a look at 2013. If you notice on the left side, you'll see green, yellow, and then red. But if we jump over to 2015, very little yellow left, it's just green and some red at the top. Notice the depths at which the cooling is occurring. Now notice how fast, how rapidly that cooled from a couple hundred feet straight up to the surface. Lake Huron will notice the same thing again. Cooling temperatures on the surface, but at depth, much greater cooling is occurring. Lake Erie, the shallowest of all the lakes. You'll also notice a few changes in this as well on the 2015, a little more broken up than just two solid temperature gradients. Now Lake Ontario is very, very easy to notice the color difference and change in temperature, dropping from 59 degrees Fahrenheit all the way down to 54.3. That's a huge drop on the surface. So when we take a look under the surface, the change in how much green going down in the temperature scale that there is between 2013 and 2015, that is an enormous change at depth, which means these lakes are going to start freezing sooner in the season. Lake Superior, the deepest of the lakes, you won't see too much change here except right at the surface because those incredibly deep 800 foot plus trenches, etc., in the lake, those are always going to remain the exact same temperature pretty much. So what we're looking at is the top 200 feet or so, and you will notice a difference between 2013 and 15. Also, as always, IPCC, hey, they forgot to tell you for 18 years and eight months, there's been no warming. And when we take a look through, oops, 33 of the IPCC models, only one's correct. What's that, like a 3% hit rate? I'm glad my tests in school were not 3% because I would have failed out. I can't believe we're still using the same models. I wanted to leave you with this incredibly beautiful photo here of a sunken ship in the Great Lakes. Amazing snorkeling up there. The diving's pretty good too on the wrecks. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030, and I'll keep the stories coming to you.